Everyone loves a conspiracy story, but the one yay is unraveling is unpeeling right now at an alarming pace. <sighs> Hey everybody and welcome Ooh. <sighs> to my first YouTube video. You know what, we're gonna keep the glove off for this one. Things have been really hectic in the Kanye's post metaverse lately. My hair is all messed up. My stylist is really on edge. I mean, clearly I'm not getting enough sleep. I don't think any of us are really getting enough sleep keeping up with Ye. So here we go. Welcome to the first official Kanye's post YouTube video. Here we are. If you haven't already gotten your Team Yay Fine God merch, you can go to Kanye'sPost.com, get your skeet hat and your Fine God merch today. Guys, we're about to deep dive one of the craziest stories that happened. I've been following Ye's posting journey since February, but what he tweeted yesterday is something that needs to be discussed and analyzed. The truth about Harley Pasternak Harley pa pa Pasternak. Harley Pasternak. Harley, Harley Pasternak. A name that many of us had not heard until yesterday when Gay, formerly known as Kanye West, sent out a tweet that alarmed most people. What should be obvious by now is that I was raised to stand for my truth regardless of the consequences. So I will say this again. I was mentally misdiagnosed and nearly drugged out of my mind to make me a manageable, well-behaved celebrity. In this tweet, he shares a screenshot from, allegedly, Harley Pasternak, his personal trainer. Harley says to Ye, I'm going to help you one of a couple ways. First, you and I sit down and have a loving and open conversation, but you don't use cuss words. And everything that is discussed is based in fact and not some dumb crazy stuff that dumb friend of yours told you or you saw in a tweet. Second option, I have you institutionalized again where they medicate the crap out of you and you go back to zombie land forever. Playdate with the kids just won't be the same. Everyone's first question, who is Harley? Fitness and nutrition specialist and boasts the largest celebrity client roster in the industry. He's worked with the likes of Kanye West, Lady Gaga, Rihanna, Katy Perry, Megan Fox, Kim Kardashian, and many more. Celebrity clients is a tab on his website because he's worked with everyone from Ariana Grande, Lady Gaga, Gwen Paltrow, Kim Kardashian, Lena, I don't know why she's before Kanye West, Will Ferrell, Charlie Puth, Amy Schumer, Adam Levine, John Mayer, even John Mayer, Rihanna, Megan Fox, Miley Cyrus, Robert Pattinson, Katy Perry, Mac Miller, the list goes on. Harley has been a very key player in Ye's life. In fact, on the Tucker Carlson podcast recently, Ye, when talking about Lizzo's weight, referred to his personal trainer as his friend. Lizzo works with my trainer, a friend of mine, Harley Pasternak, Harley, Harley Pasternak. Harley and Ye have been friends for years, so some argued that Harley was just reaching out, being a friend, giving him some tough love. Boy, did that Adidas tracksuit not age well. Harley also announced recently that he was cutting ties with Ye after his anti-Semitic remarks. Harley, who is Jewish, said that he would not speak to Ye until he issued a public apology. As someone who's been his friend for 15 years, I will not speak to Ye until he issues a formal apology. Ye follows the first tweet up with a second tweet about Harley. I was told that if I expose the truth of the bad business practices, everything is gonna be taken from me included my black children, and everyone has bore whiteness to the public, Emma Tilling of Ye, but God has put something on my heart not to back down. In this same tweet, he shares a screenshot of Harley Pasternak's Google profile, where we see he is a Canadian personal trainer. Ye shares one more screenshot about Harley. This shows Harley admitting to knowing the truth of our origin, but then later dismissing the facts within the same text chain. Mind you, this is how a Hollywood trainer speaks to a far more influential black celebrity when we get out of line. In these screenshots, he circles the part where Harley says to Ye, your origins might be Jewish. And then he cuts back to the original screenshot. Nothing that you should say can be based on something your dumb friend told you or you saw in a tweet. And this is when everybody on the internet put their tinfoil hats on and started deep diving. Was Harley trying to help Ye? Or is Harley controlling Ye? All of the comments were exploding, calling Harley a handler. 
I've heard the word before. I wasn't super familiar with it. I Googled it. All I found was Chelsea. Like everyone else, I went and found Harley's Instagram. And all I found were videos of him telling the truth about different healthcare products. The truth about coconut oil. The truth about Diet Coke. Today, we're gonna talk about the truth about Harley Pasternak. And what an impressive resume. Harley had. I mean, the guy is no stranger to Hollywood, training almost every celebrity on the planet. Best-selling author, has been interviewed in almost every single magazine under the sun. Also has some military connections and a bunch of college degrees. And served as an exercise nutrition scientist for Canada's Department of National Defense. And we'll get into that later. But everyone wondered, why did this guy have some type of authority over Ye back in 2016? In the text, though, from yesterday, he basically admits and says, I will have you institutionalized again, kind of taking the blame for what happened in 2016. Basically, do as I say, or you're going back to zombie land forever. So, of course, a lot of people did some digging because these were alarming texts. I think what most people wonder is, why does a man like Harley Pasternak have that much control over Ye? My personal trainer can barely get me to do a burpee. Back in 2016, when Ye was hospitalized after making rants about Jay-Z and Beyonce on his tour. Jay-Z, call me, bro! You still ain't call me! Ye was handcuffed and hospitalized. The 911 call came in around 1.20 p.m. on Monday after West was reportedly acting erratically. The ambulance picked him up from Harley's house. Paramedics and the Los Angeles Fire Department rushed to the Hollywood home of his personal trainer. Someone called 911 and they rushed Ye to the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center. This morning, new details are emerging about Kanye West's alleged mental state as he was rushed to the hospital. Ironically, the same place that Britney Spears and Amanda Bynes were put into 5150 holds. The doctor called 911 and said that Kanye was suffering a temporary psychosis uh, as a result of a lack of sleep and exhaustion. The doctor at the time was Michael Farzam. West was being treated for sleep deprivation when his doctor reportedly called 911 saying he was psychotic. The weird part here is that someone sold the audio to TMZ. Heard on this fire department dispatch call obtained by TMZ. Rescue 41, psychiatric emergency, Laurel Avenue. So someone sold the audio from the 911 call to TMZ. E! Network, which airs her reality show, also confirms they did not film the 911 call and are not filming at the hospital. Oh, so it sounds like they're going through this yeah. in relative privacy, at least for them. So then who leaked the ambulance call? Now, was it shocking if I told you that every single story that broke at this time was broken by TMZ? TMZ even went to Harley's house and had cameras and microphones in his face trying to get answers the night that Ye was uh, put in the hospital. Which is funny because they've been awfully quiet since Ye tweeted about Harley. They haven't posted a single thing about it. Now fans wonder if the emergency caused his abrupt decision to cancel the remaining 21 appearances of his St. Pablo tour. The St. Pablo era was very symbolic of this time period. This was the album where he says, I'm not out of control, I'm just not in they control. West is now getting a psychiatric evaluation in Los Angeles. A news broke out later that Ye actually was scared during this time at UCLA Hospital. He said he thought the doctors would kill him during his stay for this alleged mental breakdown. Ye describes this experience as one of the scariest moments of his life. There's an interview with Charlemagne and Ye. Charlemagne asks, you thought they were going to drug you and kill you? Ye said, I thought I was going to get killed. My wife wasn't in town. They have this moment where they forced everyone to leave your side. And that's something that has to change. I can't express how traumatizing that moment is. During this time, they said that Kim Kardashian was actually making medical decisions for Ye while he was at the hospital. So then after Ye's hospitalized, Remember that moment where he resurfaces in the public eye? Mr. Trump, Kanye, why did you guys discuss your meeting today? Just friends, just friends, and uh, it's a good man. So back in December 2016, Ye flew to New York City to visit Trump, which was one of his first post-hospitalization appearances. To some, this meeting may have seemed unusual, but in the rant prior to the hospitalization, 
he did mention that he would have voted for Trump if he voted. I guess Ye doesn't vote. Recently, in a video captured by BuzzZipper, Ye claimed he was previously suffering from exhaustion, which was misdiagnosed. ...of exhaustion, which was misdiagnosed. And then says that he's not going to say what race or people the doctor belongs to. It was a Jewish doctor that diagnosed me of having a disorder that would have had me on medication right now. Ye alleged that the physician misdiagnosed him with a disorder and advised him to take medication. If I was on medication right now, then one pill could have been swapped out and it would be Michael Jackson and Prince all over again. An interview that's going viral on multiple platforms is a clip from Escape Fitness from three years ago, where Harley talks about being interested in how food and drugs affect muscular performance that I was interested in was how drugs and food affect muscular performance. And well, when you say drugs, are that like performance enhancing drugs? Are they all, all kinds of drugs? drugs. Right. Okay. So working for the military, I wasn't governed by the same laws that the typical person was. After people on the internet caught wind of this video where Harley is openly talking about experimental drugs, you can only imagine what Instagram and TikTok detectives were doing. They were digging up as much as they could find. And two celebrities that they found that Harley was also linked to that had mysterious deaths were none other than Mac Miller and Brittany Murphy. Natalie Denise went to Instagram and made a video connecting Harley with Brittany Murphy. Ye introduced us to look more into Harley Pasternak, his previous fitness instructor, but also Brittany Murphy's fitness instructor. HBO actually did a documentary called What Happened to Brittany Murphy. It was on the last days of Brittany Murphy and exploring some theories about her death. Harley Pasternak was featured in this documentary. Simon Monjack was Brittany Murphy's husband and he actually did not pay her fitness instructor bill and her fitness instructor was Harley Pasternak. There's an article on ET Online. In this article, Harley is mentioned. It debunks all these conspiracies that people were running with. And at the end of the article, it says celebrity trainer Harley Pasternak claims that Monjack hired him to work with Murphy. But when she came into his gym, she was for sure under the influence of something. Now, the weird thing about this whole documentary now looking back is that Harley Pasternak was approached in clearing speculation about Simon Monjack and Brittany Murphy's relationship in which he didn't really give a clear answer. Uh, Harley Pasternak said that she seems she seemed like she was high, so he didn't know. And also looking back, it's a little strange how they introduced Harley Pasternak as AV Club introduced. There are only two interviews from people who knew Brittany Murphy in her Hollywood years and aren't trying to craft a narrative about her. Sus. So let's look back at Harley's recall of Brittany Murphy. He said that Brittany Murphy was for sure under the influence of something. She was kind of slurring her words. She was very sweet and kind of all over the place. Mm. Simon Monjak ended up dying of similar causes and was found unconscious in his Hollywood house that he had shared with Brittany Murphy. He was pronounced dead. The coroner report found that it was acute pneumonia and severe anemia that caused his death, meaning the couple died in a very bizarrely similar way, according to CNN. Harley was also close to Mac Miller. Multiple articles state that the day Mac Miller died, he actually had a training session scheduled with Harley. If you go to Harley's website, Ariana Grande is the first celebrity under his celebrity clients. Ariana Grande actually introduced Mac Miller to Harley and they started training together. Harley was quoted in multiple publications talking about Mac Miller and how wonderful of a person he was, saying Mac would be so pissed if he had died. So I was digging up some old tweets. On October 27th, Harley posted a tweet, I really miss him. And then he links an article from yahoo.com titled Mac Miller's drug supplier pleads guilty to disturbing fentanyl lace pills. As you remember at the time, a lot of people thought Mac Miller's death was suspicious. My takeaway from this tweet was Harley sharing with his audience, hey guys, this is this is what happened. So this was Harley's way of being like, this is what happened, this is the truth. So what does this all mean? I don't you know. I, look at me, do you think, like, you're really getting your information from me? Is it possible that 
Harley works with tons of celebrities and celebrities and artists are very complex individuals that do sometimes die in mysterious ways. Possibly. Unless we were actually there, no one really knows. Also, a comment that I noticed today, people were like, if Harley was such a bad guy that helped him get hospitalized in 2016, why does Ye still consider him a friend? He called him a friend on the Tucker Carlson interview. Why? Why does... Oh, so that begs the question, does Ye have the choice? Did Ye have the choice? Because if somebody arrested me and hospitalized me, I would want to be as far away from them as possible. Go ahead in the comments and discuss what you guys make of these tweets. Should a personal trainer in Hollywood have that much control over a A-list celebrity? Well, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this whole thing. Whether or not any of this is connected, I think humans naturally, when something like this happens, humans naturally want to connect the dots and find patterns, whether or not they exist. I guess we'll never know.